Okay, so you go with completing the square. This is task 193. Uh, so, first thing I do uh, completing the square is I'm going to write x plus and a half the 8 to get 4 squared. I take away this number squared, so 4 times 4 is 16, uh, and that's the end of that question. Uh, this is completing the square. Now, on this question, there's matchups, uh, so I'm just going to drag one into uh, the area for whichever one matches that one up. Okay, so I do that one again. So, we've got x plus. And half of 14 is 7 squared, and you always take away this number squared, so 7 squared is 49. Uh, and that's that one done. On this one, I've got equals x plus, and half of 14 is 7 again, squared, take away 49. But then I've got this plus 20 to put on the end, and this is going to be x plus 7 squared, and minus 49 plus 20. You've got to be comfortable with your negative numbers, or use a calculator, or however you want to do it. It's actually minus 29 uh, at the end of that one. This one, a bit weirder, uh, because of the odd number there. So it's x take away, because that says take away this time, and it's 2.5 squared minus, and 2.5 squared is 6.25. Okay, uh, you just use your calculator for that one, it's 2.5 uh, times 2.5 is 6.25. And then the last one, I've got x minus again, half of 25 is 2.5 again, squared minus the 6.25, but then you've got to add on that 36. Uh, and this is a bit where you could mess up, just adding these two together. So if you just think of 36 take away 6 is 30, then you've got to take away the 0.25. You get x minus 2.5 squared take away 29.75 is going to be the answer to that question. You can use your calculator to just tidy that bit up if you wanted to. So that's all completing the square is. It's uh, in brackets x plus half of that number, the, the coefficient of x, the number in front of x. And then you always take away whatever the number in the bracket is squared. Uh, and that's that job done. Right, the next one, uh, so now I'm into a whole load of solving questions, so this takes a, maybe a little bit more uh, work uh, to solve it. So the first thing we're going to do is complete the square. So we go, uh, for this one, I'm going to have uh, x plus 5 uh, squared take away 25, uh, so half of 10 is 5, 5 squared is 25, so you take that one. Then you put the uh, minus 8 at the end, n equals 0. Tidy this bit up, so we're going to have x plus 5 uh, squared minus 33 equals 0 and then it's just a case of moving things around to get the x so move the 33 across we have x plus 5 squared equals 33 we undo the squared bit by square rooting so we get x plus 5 equals the square root of 33 and then we finish with uh, getting rid of this 5 by taking off the other side so we get x equals minus 5 and when you do a square root you should always get plus and minus uh, the square root of 33. Um, and if there's two options, I can't remember what the. Let's have a quick look at the uh, task there. So the task is saying, yeah, so it's, it's the two options. So you're going to put uh, minus 5 plus square root of 33 or minus 5 take away the square root of 33. Uh, we generally write it uh, in this manner uh, just because it's neat and compact and don't have to put the or bit. But when it says or, you're just going to write minus 5 plus square root of 33 or minus 5 minus the square root of 33. And that's the end of that one. Uh, this one I've got um, is going to be complete the square. X minus half of 18 is 9 squared. This is a takeaway because it says takeaway there. Uh, you minus 81 because 9 squared is 81. And then you add 9 because that says add 9 there. And you get equal 0. Uh, this thing is going to be X minus 9 uh, squared. 81 uh, minus 81 plus 9 is minus 72. Equals 0. Move the 72 across. X minus 9. Uh, squared equals 72 and then square root it x minus 9 equals the square root of 72 and then finally move the 9 across and you get x equals 9 plus or minus uh, the square root of 72 okay now uh, the only thing I'm thinking about now uh, on this one there's the last bit plus uh, that uh, last question is the square root of 72 it actually simplifies down uh, you can rationalize, uh, not rationalize, you can simplify the said. However, looking at the uh, answer spots, um, it's just in a number and then plus or minus that one. So I'm just going to leave it like that one and put the answer in 9 plus the square root of 72 or 9 minus the square root of 72. So that's all that one is. Right, on this question here, um, you can see there's a number on this side of the um, equal sign. Now I'm actually going to leave that there and I'm going to complete the square on this side. So I'm just going to ignore the fact that that's not equal to zero and complete the square here. So I get x minus 5.5 uh, squared 
and then take away 5.5 .5 squared. Now this is a calculator exercise, uh, so I can use a calculator now. So 5.5, .5, turn it on, 5.5 .5, uh, squared is apparently 30.25. So you've got 30.25, and that's equal to, so that's just the left hand side, and the right hand side is just saying 6. Uh, and now I'm going to move this over, so that's going to be 6 plus that bit. So I'm going to have x minus 5.5 .5 squared equals 6 plus that is 36.25. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is square root that thing. So I get x minus 5.5 .5 equals square root of 36.25. And then I'm going to bring that 5.5 .5 over, so x equals 5.5 .5 becomes positive because there's negative over here, plus and minus a square root of 36.25 and at this point I'm going to grab the calculator and figure out what that is so I've got 5.5 .5 plus the square root of 36.25 and the first answer I've got and it once the answer correct to why have I put 15 that was done let's just change that 15 to 5 delete so the first answer I'm going to have is 11.52 now with a one, uh, one decimal place that's just 11.5 and that was when I added it so x is equal to 11.5 or and then I go back here and I just change that plus delete to a takeaway and I'm getting the other answer is minus 0.5 to one decimal place or minus 0 0.5 uh, because the two just rounds down doesn't it to 0 0.5 so that's all that one is okay this question here the first thing I'm going to do because it's hard to complete the square and there's a number in front is I'm going to divide everything in that line by 5 to get rid of this 5 at the front uh, so I'm going to have x squared minus 9x uh, plus 2 equals 0. So that's everything there divided by 5 uh, and now I'm good to go. So completing the square, x minus 4.5 is half of 9 squared, take away, and then I need to know 4.5 squared is 20.25, uh, 20.25 20 plus the odd 2 that I've got at the end equals 0. Uh, next thing is I'm just going to tidy this up, minus 20 and plus 2 is 18. So I've got x minus 4.5 squared minus 18.25 now equals 0. Move the 18.25 over, x minus 4.5 squared equals 18.25. And then you need to uh, come down a little bit. Uh, get rid of the squared part next, so the square root. x equals, a, oh, sorry, x minus 4.5 equals a square root of 18.25. Move the minus 4.5 over becomes plus, so 4.5, and then I've got plus and minus a square root of 18.25. Okay, so then I can grab my calculator and start doing that one. So 4.5 uh, plus the square root of 18.25, and again I'm going to one decimal place, so I've got 8.77, which is 8.8, .8, so x equals 8.8, .8, or and then I go back here and I just change that plus delete to a takeaway. And I've got uh, 0 0.2 to one decimal place. Uh, so that's that one. Flip over the page. I've got two to go. Uh, right, first thing again, get rid of this 6. I'm just going to divide everything by 6. So I get start with x squared minus 12x plus uh, 4 equals 0. And then I go for the complete and the square. So x minus this one, half of that one is 6 squared take away 36 plus 4 equals 0 x minus 6 all squared uh, and then minus 36 plus 4 is minus 32 equals 0 move the 32 over x minus 6 squared equals 32 square root x minus 6 uh, equals uh, square root of 32 and then you just get the 6 over so x equals uh, 6 plus and minus the square root of 32 so x equals, the calculator, 6 plus the square root of 32, that's 46, let's try it again, 6 plus the square root of 32, and I'm getting 11.7, 11.7, 7, or 7.7 7 goes to the 6, 5, so the 5 rounds are 6 up to a 7, or go back here, just change that to a takeaway, and you're getting uh, 0 0.3, or 0 0.3. Uh, last question. Okay, so that was the 0 0.3, I'm going to the 0 0.3. Last question, uh, again, I've got a number in front of x squared, so I'm going to divide everything by that 2. Uh, so let's get rid of the 2. So we're starting with x squared plus 7x equals minus 3.5. You have to divide everything on that line by 2 to get there. Okay. 
Um, right, next thing is to half this number. So x plus 3.5 squared, take away. 3.5 squared, 3.5 squared is 12.25. 12.25 equals minus 3.5 apparently. Move this over, so I've got minus 3.5, so let's go minus 3.5 plus uh, the 12.25, might as well get this right, uh, 8.75, so I get x plus 3.5 squared equals 8.75 now. Uh, next step is to get rid of the square root, so x plus 3.5, uh, get rid of the squared, sorry, is the square root of 8.75. Uh, then get rid of the 3.5, x equals minus 3.5, because it was plus on this side, uh, plus or minus the square root of 8.75. And then finally, we get our calculator to figure out x is equal to. So we've got minus 3.5 uh, plus the square root of 8.75, square root of 8.75. And to one decimal place, that is minus 0.5. Minus 0 0.5, or, and then you go back here, change that to a takeaway, so delete, minus, equals, SD, 6.5, uh, minus 6.5 because the 5 rounds are 4, so minus 6.5. Uh, and that's it for completing the square, so quite a lot of work going on there, um, quite hard. Completing the square is where the quadratic formula comes from, so if you've heard of the quadratic formula, which I probably have, um, that's where it actually comes from. It comes from completing the square. Okay, good luck. This is the top tip. Get rid of that six. Uh, okay, good luck.